you must have read or heard about the fifth dimension consciousness and manifestation a lot of people are currently moving to the fifth dimension or to the new earth so manifesting will become pretty easy and faster for these people especially this year onwards and even you could be one of them if you understand how to do it but what exactly is a fifth dimension and how to get access to it is it a physical location and how to manifest from the fifth dimension i will answer all these questions and let me tell you the fifth dimension is not a physical plane as some people wrongly believe the concept of dimensions in the context of physics and in the context of metaphysics or spirituality is very different and can become a bit complex in physics dimensions typically referred to spatial dimensions for example length breadth height time however when people refer to higher dimensions like the fifth dimension in a metaphysical or a spiritual sense they are talking of different consciousness a different level of existence which is beyond our 3d perception so the idea of the fifth dimension spiritually is often associated with a higher level of consciousness awareness or spiritual existence and manifestation in this context refers to bringing something into your reality through the power of your thought or intentions or your energy your vibration so in physics 2d and 3d are physical dimensions similarly time is considered as the fourth dimension but 3d in spiritual sense is kind of different 3d is our physical plane our earth okay it is basically the level of consciousness or vibrational frequency that people have on earth you might or you might not be aware of it but as consciousness or souls we had to reduce our vibrational frequency to be here on earth to take birth here in this physical form as souls or spiritual beings our vibrational frequency was pretty high in the spiritual realm on the spiritual plane and that is why you believe it or not manifestations in the spirit realm happens very very fast i mean instantly what you think it appears it happens because first there is no time dimension there no time there and secondly your vibrational frequency is pretty high so instant manifestation in the spiritual plane so now you might be getting the idea that in order to manifest faster you surely need to raise your vibrational frequency to reach those higher dimensions or to get access to those higher dimensions staying here on earth so in a nutshell what is the fifth dimension it is not a physical location but it is a vibrational frequency that you can access staying here on earth so the people who are moving to this fifth dimension they are not moving to a different location or to a different earth they are here but they are accessing a particular vibrational frequency if you know what i mean this is associated with a higher level of consciousness beyond the constraints of space and time it is seen as a realm where thoughts and intentions have a more immediate and powerful impact on your reality so your thoughts and intentions will manifest more quickly than what we usually experience in our everyday lives so for that what you need to do is so how to access it you need to be very aware of your third dimensional thoughts and intentions feelings and vibrations so that you can slowly start moving away from there and instead use fifth dimensional habits and move to 5d thoughts feelings and vibrations to start manifesting even the most impossible desires very quickly so now what i'm going to do is i'll share the examples of two of my imaginary friends one is tia another one is julia to clearly mark out the differences between 3d consciousness and 5d consciousness so now pay very close attention to it tia will show you what 3d habits are or 3d behaviors are and julia will show you 
what 5D consciousness or 5D habits and behaviors are. Okay, so just try to become like Julia. So let's begin. First is 3D consciousness, which focuses on materialism. Tia is super engrossed in 3D. That is why her manifestations show up very, very slowly. Sometimes they are not even showing up for years. She gets sucked in the drama of everyday life, bitching about people she doesn't like, complaining about how her life really sucks. And she's constantly in this competitive mode. Since she is living in the third dimension consciousness, her focus is predominantly on the material world and physical reality, chasing money and success. She is trying super hard to grow her business. But in the process, she has completely forgotten about her real true intention behind starting her business in the first place, which is helping people out. And instead, money and fame have become her focus now. And that is the reason why her manifestation is not showing up. She is in this journey for five years now without any success. On the other hand, 5D consciousness is about energetic focus. So Julia, on the other hand, has transcended the 3D reality or the 3D consciousness. And she has managed to access the five dimensional consciousness because now she is focusing all her attention on her energy, her vibrational frequency, and she is consciously trying to raise it. So she is no more in the life's drama, not reacting to any good or any bad situation, no matter how challenging the situation is. She is more calm and composed in every situation. Her business group pretty fast because her focus was on helping people out and that was her pure intention right from her heart. Her clients were getting attracted to her because of this energy, this vibrational frequency that she was giving out. So money, success, love, fame, everything manifested pretty quickly in her life. The second feature of the 3D consciousness is that it is ego driven which plays a predominant role in decision-making and perception. Tia is taking all important decisions in her life driven by her ego, which means she is making decisions and taking actions based on fears, doubts and limiting beliefs. So that's creating more resistance and delaying her manifestation even more. On the other hand, 5D consciousness is based on heart-centered actions and perception. So Julia's approach is more heart-centered. That means she is taking actions and decisions based on love, compassion and pure positive intentions. There is little or no resistance and therefore her manifestations are showing up really quickly in her life. Third is 3D consciousness is based on duality and separation, which means the perception of something is good or bad, light or dark. So challenges and contrasts are seen as integral to human experiences. And on top of that, there is a sense of separation, which means I am different from you. So this perception leads to judging people or engage in extreme selfish behaviors. And Tia did the same. But 5D consciousness is all about unity consciousness and oneness. So there is a sense of interconnectedness. We all are one. We all are connected. We all are from that same source. So Julia sees herself in every other individual. She feels the same love and compassion for every other soul that she feels for herself and her family. And she knows that manifestation is a co-creative process with the universe and individuals and circumstances will show up in her life to fulfill all her desires in the right divine timing. Because that's how the universe works. The universe will send all the required people and it will create the situations in a way that will help support your desires. So she has moved away from ego-driven desires with a focus on selfless, pure intentions. 
Now we move on to the most important aspect of the 5D consciousness that has a very deep and direct impact on manifestation. So pay close attention to it. So 3D consciousness is about linear time, which means there is a past, there is a present and there is a future moving in a linear way or moving forward in a straight manner. That is the reason so many people keep on waiting for their manifestation to show up for some future time. But when you have awoken your 5D consciousness, you will not be bothered about the past or the future anymore because everything is happening in the eternal now. You just have the now moment, this moment, right? When you have this realization, automatically there will be a shift in your vibration and the gap between your thoughts and your manifestation will start reducing. So after all these points, you must have understood how to awaken your 5D consciousness. So you need to be like Julia, follow what she is doing. Adopt the habits that she has adopted, like doing every activity with love, compassion and pure intentions instead of fears or doubts and obsession. Try to be more calm and non-reactive in any good or bad situation. And don't do the things that Tia is doing. So basically, you need to erase your fears, your doubts and limiting beliefs. And I have a crazy hack that can immediately clear all your limiting beliefs and resistance from your system. You want to know it? Then just watch this next video and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.